Hey everyone and welcome back to the Oh no no no, 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 no. Um, We're fucking with you <laughs> We're messing with you We are not watching a movie from our Age Zero of Horror series Yeah So we're actually We are not watching it boils and ghouls We're not boils and ghouls as you would say We decided tonight to watch a film I've never seen Wait a minute Are we Are we fucking things up here? Last week we were going to watch Nosferatu and then we weren't in a film watching mood and we kept changing the film we were going to watch and we ended up setting on Near Dark, which, which is good, great, good film. Good choice. And so this week we should be doing O, oh, if you're probably watching this out of sync, but uh, we're not. We're watching in completely different. Yeah. We just wrecked the A to Z of horror. No, because the A to Z of horror is a segment we're working on. It's oh. a series. Oh. This, we're just take, not taking a break, we're just watching another movie, which is... The Devil's Rejects. The Devil's Rejects! Uh, our audience, our opinion. Our audience. Our Hi, opinions. Mum! <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, that, that probably needs discussing in the internet at home because yeah, people won't we'll watch it because, you know, these won't, so, be our usual, these won't be our usual fans. <laughs> the reason why we're watching this is I told you the other night that I'd never seen this movie. Mm. Or I've not really seen too much of Rob Zombie's movies. I've only seen, if I remember, the Halloween two we did a couple okay. of years back. So, House of a Thousand Corpses, 31. I've not seen 31, I have out. seen House of a Thousand Corpses. So, um, I have seen The Devil's Reject. Um, but I was telling you a minute ago, I watched this as a date movie um, with my wife before we were married, and we've been married like 10 years, so I've not seen this in longer than that. And you, you not said, seen this then? no, and you said, this doesn't look like a date movie. No, it was not a date movie. <laughs> no. um, not by the description of what it says on the back. So, yeah. I'll let you know the other night. I've not seen it, and I picked recently picked it up for one p. One p. One p. So I thought we'll watch it. That's a penny worth spending. Well, let's see. Let's chuck this bad boy on, and we'll let you know our thoughts and see if it was worth the whole investment of one English penny. One English penny. If, it, right. if it's not, it's going to be shit. Um, <laughs> but it may, oh, no, that seems unfair. I'd, I'd pay a penny for a lot of shit. Right. Okay. <laughs> I don't we'll know what I'm bit. talking about now. No, we're going. Bye bye. Hey, Everyone, welcome back. So we have just finished. The Devil's Rejects. rejects. Yeah, uh, devil's Rejects, right. So that means the devil doesn't want them. Yeah, he's rejected them because they're just... Because they're trying hard to get in his favour. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing quite a lot, aren't they, to get in his favour? They jobs. are, indeed. This is a Rob Zombie movie from 2005. 2005 Rob Zombie well. from White Zombie and Rob Zombie fame. Uh, I do like a bit of Rob Zombie. I do like a bit of White Zombie as well. So I've not really listened to much of his movies. It's all right. It's uh, proper metal. Um, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. All right, so about an hour and 50 minutes, this film. You synopsis, this film. I don't know. I'll start with it, to be honest. Uh, basically, Charles Manson, the Manson family, it's kind of that. There's a family that is going around... 75 murders, did it say? I think, I want to say at the beginning, it says 75 sure murders. 75, uh, yeah. So they kill a shitload of people, and uh, then they get caught by the police. Well, no, the police storm them, so then they go on like a, a, fight, a, an yeah. escape, and then the police are trying to track them down, led by one particular police. <laughs> Stop stroking my, uh, my, my Star Wars very warm popcorn, then. <laughs> um, as, <laughs> by the way, K2SO... It's fucking brilliant. <laughs> He's like one of my new icons. Um, yeah, the police trying to track him down. They're like still going to try and get away from the police and killing a few more people on the route. So they are really bad people, but they're being tracked by a sheriff played by William Forsyth. Awesomely played by William Forsyth. He was absolutely phenomenal in this. And guy. he becomes the meanest motherfucker. He does, he does. But, but like, not just mean motherfucker as in, like, he's a cool mean motherfucker. Mean motherfucker as in, he's really mean. He kind of gets to the point towards the end of the film where he just breaks. It, it complete <sighs> role reversal on this. Like right, you said, oh, so these are the protagonists and it changes the perception of We are film. seeing a violent serial killer nasty movie through the eyes of the people that are doing the violence and you do warn to them you do warn to them and it, it, it is consciously set up to make you start to like these people and get to know their traits but you do warn to them and it's very clever that it works because i have seen this in other films before where you're supposed to sympathize with the baddie right. uh, but Normally you kind of go, yeah, but you genuinely, it's not so you're saying, yeah, go 
Rape some of the people. Bit rapey this film. <laughs> you use that word halfway through. Really. So it's a bit rapey. A bit rapey. Yeah. yeah. I'm really regretting having this as a date night movie. Even though it's I can't believe you show you watch this with your wife. No, that was my like. then girlfriend. Yeah. This film made me marry her. No, made her marry me. I don't know. She is so I need to go and have a word with her if that's the case. Mm. Um. Yeah, uh, right, okay. Do I'm... you reckon this is brutal? It says it no. says on the front the nastiest, most savage, and brutal movie you could ever want to see. Do I don't think it was. That was exactly what I was going to say. Actually, I don't think what we see on the screen is as violent, as gory, or as brutal as a lot of other films. But I get... Given at the time, 2005, we might not have seen... No, there was also... But even if you think of some of the stuff that we were watching back then, some of these sort of rare horrors, we were seeing worse. But what this film does is the whole undercurrent of the story is wrong. It's, you know, the fact that you start sympathising with... Like Captain Spaulding. Inbred rapist... Well, not inbred, but you know, there's definitely some sort of weirdness going on in this family. Yeah is wrong you are completely sympathizing with the bad guys and it's dirty and nasty it is grimy isn't it and the concept of some of the things they're doing it it's fucking vile but we laughed <laughs> there was quite a few times we were laughing out loud we were actually laughing out loud and i said should we be laughing out loud i'm quite worried that we're laughing out loud is it, we, we were supposed to be laughing it was yeah, played yeah. for jokes though. but that's the thing and that's what makes it I get why a lot of people would be really uncomfortable with this film. And a warning, internet, if you're just one of these people that likes, you know, bubblegum horror movies and someone says, oh, I'm not even actually sure if this is a full-blown horror thriller. It's, oh, it's that straddly line, isn't it? But... I'll go horror. No, it's horror. It is fucking horror. Yeah, no, it's pretty horrible. <laughs> Especially when that poor lad is seen there. <laughs> She runs out of the hotel room with her husband's face strapped to her head. Pretty and then horrible. Just run over by a lorry. Poor girl. <laughs> that yeah. is. Oh, I think it's a, a light. I'm heart. free. <laughs> I think it's a new Pixar movie. <laughs> oh, the Devil's Rejects, featuring the, featuring the voice talent of Billy Crystal. <laughs> um, so no, a warning. This, if you won't are, be for everyone, will it? No, if you're just on the teetering edge of horror thriller and you just watch like teeny horror films and stuff, you're gonna find this hard actually. But if you are a hardened horror, I don't think you will find it that hard. But I think you might enjoy it for the story, the direction, the dialogue, direction. the acting. I've got to say, a round of applause to Rob Zombie for the direction of this film. I thought it was great. I thought, well, it's an hour and 50 minutes, I thought it was paced perfectly. I can't fault the direction. Do you know I mean? And the soundtrack, the way he integrated the songs, the perfect times. It kind of took, oh. it built up to attention and then he just dropped this slow paced song in. It just, it made it even more intense and creepy and, in the scene because and it tried to relax you. cheat, he didn't use like music to tell the story that sometimes happened. No, but no. at the same time, the stories maybe, yeah. did. Yeah, the last one in particular. The last, the last scene, yeah. The last scene didn't need to be there at all. The, the film had finished and then they play um, Skin and Freebird and there is an entire, like I said, this scene could have been the sequel. And it's yeah. so, I'm so glad it was there. And I felt it looked pretty great shitty well. in it as well. I was like, oh shit. No, don't do that. Um, I want to say Bill Mosley to me. Otis. Otis. That was his name. Otis, yeah, o it was Otis, wasn't it? Because he was the Charles, no, no. Charles Manson motherfucker. Hmm. He stole the show for me. And William Forsyth. I think he's such an evil bastard in this. I, he is evil. I think he's great. We saw him a couple of years ago at the London Film and Comic Con, and that's one of my biggest regrets. Not you, I remember signature. you saying it at the time. And he yeah. just looked as evil and menacing then. What? I, I think ten you're years skipping... ago than when it, ten years after this film was made. I think I you're missing some good ones, though. Sid Haig is quality and sometimes in some of these uh, not some of these because this wasn't but, some low that, um, uh, but also sherry moon zombie sherry moon zombie who on record says that she didn't want to be an actress she was great it's spectacular she? one she's amazing looking the teeth were a bit too white but no but i think they play up the fact that she's hot because everything else in this film is dirty in fact you were talking about 
the way it looked like the whole film. Oh, we were like proper grindhouse, really grime. I felt if I scrape the screen, I'll get shit under my. We've and we've mentioned this before when we do an episode of horror. I have a bit of annoyance about films that want to pretend to be grindhouse because I'm like. You can still make a grindhouse film now, and I'm, I'm really struggling to think of something that has been a grindhouse recently, like a recently made one, but they, they do exist. Yeah. This, I know it was trying to look like and feel like a 70s grindhouse movie, but it was a grindhouse movie. This wasn't Death Proof or, you know... Planet Terror, is it? And yeah, what's the other one? Uh, uh, Hobo with Howard, a shotgun. Yeah. Oh, you know, this was not that. This felt very honest to what it was trying to be. It was it was dirty. It was wrong. It was black humoured. But I'm gonna say right now, I think this film was a fucking masterpiece. I actually, I actually do. We, well worth a penny, wasn't it? <laughs> well worth a penny. Penny well spent. You've got a DVD. I've not got it. I have seen it, and I, I was like, shit. Is there a Blu-ray still of this? Is there a, like? Is there? This is a film. That, and I, you know what I'm like, every now and again I get behind a film and I'm like, I want the poster, I want the soundtrack, I want the... You go a bit far And I don't know you? the nasty side of this. If this was a chicken, you'd cut its head off <laughs> and you'd fuck it, wouldn't you? <laughs> but the mother was in the best scenes in this film! I know chicken, you fucking motherfucker. <laughs> There's a scene in it about where they With go the by chickens. I can't remember the Dawn of the Dawn Dead. Of dead. The, uh, mm, don't, he's brilliant. He's brilliant. He's been in a oh, few, he's great in this, few things, he? but he's he's really good in this. And he's, the guy from Hills of Eyes was in it. Yeah, um, Michael, somebody or other, I think his name is, um, plays Jupiter in the Hills of Eyes. Yeah, he's but not even yeah, it just had a great supporting cast. It had like I, I I loved it. I thought it looked great. I thought the the story played well. Um, my only criticism, and it's a small criticism. You're gonna throw criticism. At yes, right. and you're gonna agree with me with this criticism. The white right. teeth. Not the white teeth. I fucking hated the white teeth. The last teeth. scene of the main story. Right. I don't want to give too much away. The last scene of the main story before the 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 end scene. We knew how they were gonna get out of the issue. Ah. And I didn't necessarily like it. As in, yeah. it was a bit too easy. It was a bit too obvious. I was rooting for William Forsyth's character as the sheriff to kill him. Ew, you're so goody goody choo choos. You don't want the baddies to win. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Fuck you. No. Devil's rejects all the way. Okay, Let's go you get. You say that, but wasn't <laughs> William Forsyth the baddie? Wasn't he portrayed as? Yes, the he was. He was absolutely. So I wanted, the... although he, the baddie to win, but it was yeah, actually he was pretty bad. To he killed them all. He killed. He's just he stabbed them. them that was quite a brutal he's, scene. He's that a mean was. guy. Anyway, yeah, the end scene, I called it before it happened. Yeah. You've seen it before, so you knew it was coming. But first watch for me, I knew... I, I, you know what? I, I swear, this is going to happen. Honestly, I couldn't went, remember it. Mm, I couldn't could remember that happening. Right, but right. I guessed also from the right, very beginning okay. that that was how it was going to It was a bit too obvious. It was a bit. Um, I would, yeah, I would agree with that as a criticism. No, I quite like the fact that that character reoccurred, but it just felt a bit Didn't he sacrifice too himself, convenient. Didn't convenient. Yes, again, like, so they could make another one. Get away. Because uh, this uh, technically is a sequel to House of a Thousand Corpses. Is you do not one? need to have seen a House of a Thousand Corpses to watch well, this. I, don't, I suppose you don't because the, the it's explained who there's a scene it where, there's a scene when the William Forsyth Sheriff is interrogating the mother, and you said, oh, "I wonder if the photos are linked to House of a Thousand Corpses." Which then is really, at the end because you've not seen House of a Thousand Corpses. No, I've not. I only not. watched it about six months ago and still didn't know if it was linked. I was like, "Surely that's got to be the only link." I didn't don't think it is. I didn't love House of a Thousand Corpses either. Right. I found it a bit no. I'll take it or leave it. It wasn't bad, but I am no this urge to that. Yeah. This, really this was really worse. good. Really solid. Not easy film to watch. No, I'll tell you what I was expecting with this. It's probably it's really unfair. But you look look at the cover, you look at the cover art, and, it, and don't get me wrong, the Hills of Eyes remake is great. But I was expecting that sort of film. With this, different it's a totally level different, of movie, yeah, different but, level of film. That's very. Um, the Hills of Five Years make is a really good movie. I suppose what I'm saying is, I wasn't expecting the quality what I got here, the direction, the character yes. development, the actual. The, the, I'll, I'll say the acting, but the character performances, all of it, the soundtrack, the way it was shot, just just how it really 
When was Made the last time? Feel you, uneasy, when was the last time you watched a film which had all of those things that came together? The the the, the cast, the actors, the script, the direction, the soundtrack, the way it looked, the special effects. Uh, I think you know there was obviously a few bits of digital blood in this as well, but it wasn't too much to take away. I thought yeah, it, there was a bit. I thought it all looked. I think they. When they, was the last time you watched a film when? Do you know what? Everything about the way that was made really worked. Oh, especially, drive. especially drive. drive. Oh, good yeah. call. Yeah. I was going to say a genre film. I think I'd take Drive as a genre film as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a it's a very Marmite film. I, do you know what? We not gonna score these. It's not in the eight set. I don't think we need to. Or we can. If you I like. give it a thumbs up. I give it two if, thumbs up. I think it's great. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, everyone. Do you know what? If this was if it. this was in the eight set of horror now, when we're scoring out of five, I'd score this a five. Yeah, I would agree with that. <laughs> I'd score it a five. I think we scored Lost Boys a five. Then we argued about whether we did or didn't, but I think we, we did. Have, yeah. I think we scored it four and a half, but I think we might have scored it a five. Um, but yeah, this is great, everyone. Go watch this. I would really, I would, I, I, I think I said earlier, I wouldn't recommend it for everybody. No, I would. If you're watching a film, watching a YouTube video that's talking about horror films in general. This is a film for you, and it is a film you should be watching. And if you don't fucking love it, then either you're a tweeny little bopper that just wants to say, Oh, I watched the latest Saw film, and it was really, really scary and gruesome. Even though you see fuck all, and it's boring and shit, so fuck off, you little tweeny. Go and watch fucking Sea Babies. Um, or you're, um, <laughs> what's the other people that like half ups? I don't know. Or oh, one of these people that's, ah, oh, uh, I don't fucking know. Just fucking watch it. I don't know. Just fucking watch it. I'm not getting on my high horse or shit. No, I'm out of beer. Um, I thought it was great. I loved it. It was great. I fucking loved it. Go watch it. Devil's Rejects, Rob Zombie, great movie. Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie's, Rob Zombie's a very strange director. I really want to check out his other works now. I really want to check out Lords of Salem, well, House of Thousand Corpses and 31. The House of Thousand Corpses, And yeah. I'm worried now I might have started with his best film. I think, yeah. You haven't started with it. You've seen Halloween and Halloween 2. Remakes? Really? This is bad. Oh, that's far better. Yes, yeah, what was it? I don't, oh, okay. yeah, I don't you're right. dislike the Halloween remakes, if I'm absolutely honest. I don't, you know, some people are, oh, no, I don't dislike No, I don't them. mind. The first one's Indeed. good, the second one's meh, but if you watch them, like Grumpy Andy. Grumpy Andy, had a, when he did his he list. He did them as, 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 as a collective movie, both together, as a, if you took it as part one and part two. I understand, completely understand what it is. I if you watch I number two as a solo film with no. a lot of time from the first one. No, it doesn't work. Bollocks. But then neither does Halloween 2 from Halloween 1, if I'm completely honest, uh, the John Carpenter version. That was just a cash in. Uh, yeah. yeah, but um, yeah, I haven't seen 31 of the Salem yet. Uh, both on Shudder, which I am going to watch it on. Um, because hey, lucky bastard. Uh, I do like. But um, yeah, Devil's Rejects. Yeah, Love Devil's it. Rejects. Great film. Thanks for watching. Put your comments below, all that good stuff. Yeah, and if you do have any thoughts, put them down below and let us know about Devil's Rejects. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.